Oh, right, we inherited a navy. I'm not even going to decrease the maintenance. I'm just going to get rid of them. <laughs> yes, chat, you heard me. I'm getting rid of the navy. Bum, bum, bum. Don't need it. Useless institution. <laughs> Hello, everyone! Uh, welcome to this special moment we have every week with our EU4 streams. Uh, I am, as usual, Bjorn. Uh, I am the community manager for EU4. With me, as always, I have my trusted friend and compadre, Mr. Mordred Viking. Hello, Mordred. Hello, everyone. How are you, Bjorn? Uh, yeah, we. So, what's happening? Let's do a little recap where we're at. So, Last week we released uh, Origins as well as a 1.32 Songhai update. So naturally we needed to start a game or we play a little, uh, little of the new content. So we started a game as Congo. And I believe that our ultimate goal is to take Congo to Belgium. And it is, <laughs> yes. The, the Congo quest. <laughs> the Reconquista, so to speak, uh, of, of the Cong Congolese Reconquista. Um, so yeah, well, where we're at is we just started and we started occupying stuff. We almost died to rebels uh, <laughs> right away, pro as we are. But yeah, we're back on track. Um, and uh, yeah, we're playing on 132.1, Songhai. But uh, some news for you, y'all back home uh, we are expecting to release 1.32.2 uh, as an opt-in uh, beta later today so uh, primarily fixing the the random new world crash that some people experienced where you try to load a game with random new world it would cause the game to crash um, that should no longer be the case although uh, I just got news. I was hoping that the, uh, by updating you would actually be able to load your old saves back, but apparently that's not the case. Uh, unfortunately, if you started a game with a random new world, you quit and then try to load it, the game probably crashed and unfortunately it corrupted your save file. And uh, that's very unfortunate. <clears throat> it's extremely unfortunate, uh, and I did not think that would happen, but. That's unfortunately the case, so I cannot do anything but apologize for that inconvenience. Um, yeah, that's it's what it is. Uh, so, uh, probably a beta patch uh, later today. And uh, we, uh, if everything goes well, if QA approves it and you guys don't find any major issues with it, we hope to have it out before the end of the week. Um, but yeah, no promises made. Anywho. Let's jump a little bit into the, uh, as Sousa 44 says, Reconquista, Reconquista. That was actually pretty good. Reconquista, I like that. Uh, for that Sousa 1444, you're going to get your uh, next general is going to be named after Sousa. I, I, I state that, I declare that now already. So yeah, give us I, a little, uh, sorry. I'm for that. It's good. Yep. Sorry, uh, go on. Uh, no, I was going to ask you to. So, where are we at now? What's what's our plan? So, our plan right now is to consolidate, making sure that we kill these last rebels. I might actually provoke these and have them rise up and kill them. Then, and then <laughs> isn't that what we did? No, we, no, we didn't. No, we we, we lowered yeah. autonomy to trigger them last time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but we need to deal with these rebels. We're really low on manpower, so I'm kind of okay taking a little bit to just consolidate a little bit. But mm. we need to go after Kuba and L Lunda. Right. Um, and add those to the mighty Congolese nation. The oh, Kuba Luba needs to be incorporated. We also have a government reform up there, it looks like. We do. Um, you were doing all the intros, but we should take a look at what the options there are. Because I believe, being Congo, we actually have different things than I've ever seen before myself. So this is interesting. Mm. So our options are Martial Society, which gives us 20% more manpower. Considering our current situation, that's probably not a bad idea. Or we can have the civil society, which gives us taxes and corruption. Manpower, really manpower, manpower. <laughs> yeah, I, I would definitely agree with that. The other thing that we can take a look at is which type of tribal administration we have. What because at we the have? moment we're a tribal monarchy, which gives more income from vassals, which for the moment is good. But I don't know if we'll necessarily have a lot of vassals going forwards. 
that moral of armies looks pretty tasty. The the fist there was a moral of army, I believe. No, income from vassal. No, no, the next one. The the next one there, you know, stateless society. Oh yeah, but the problem with this is governing capacity is increased by ninety nine percent, which means you can effectively be a one province minor. Uh, all right, yeah. So it's uh, well, it's actually decreasing, not increasing. All right, maybe you said, it. maybe I heard her wrong. Never mind, never mind. We we are all we have a full. Uh, we know everything here. We never say anything it, wrong. Yeah, it means that you can only have one percent maximum capacity as opposed to the hundred <laughs> percent. So this number would drop to like four. Ooh. So we'd already be over it by ten times. As it happens, Lunda and Kuba are currently at war, so this would seem like an excellent opportunity to go after Kuba. Strike them. Strike them while they're down. I think I will. Ooh, sorry. Oh, except they're allied to Luba and Kakonja. Oh, wait. Who, who is? Is Kuba? Kuba and Luba. Whee! I love it. I love that Kuba Luba. It's happened. <laughs> Wonderful. So I'm just going to wait until we get some more manpower back again. And I'm I think I'm going to let these guys fight it out a little so that they weaken each other. Weaken, it, weaken each other, yeah, that's a good idea. I have a really bad feeling that Lunda's about to take Cooper, which would be annoying because we have a truce with Lunda. Do we want to lose the Diplo power or the admin power? Um, Diplo. What, what ideas do we have? We don't have any ideas yet, right? We don't, no, because we have no technology. Yeah. And in fact, with all the points that we're saving up, we should probably invest that into some development. I think that's what we're going to do. So let's go and do an edict to make development cheaper. Mm -hmm. I guess and then let's just build the nation up. Oh, don't we have a mission to increase the development of one of our states? Develop Congo, we do. So Mpembe needs to be a dev of 30, and at least five of our provinces need to have development of 10. Mpembe is our capital, that's here. So this needs to be up to 30. It's an iron producer, so I think I want to beast, oh, boost fuck. up the production. And there's the 10. And there's the mission complete. And what do we get? Our, our tribal kingdom is on the verge to reach great to reach greatness. However, for achieving this, we need more people and the infrastructure to support them. We should develop Mbaza Congo and the surrounding area. And for this, we get a settler. Mm. Which will allow us to start colonizing down there. I'm kind oh. of wondering if we want to save this for if we get the the inner shell. Because then we can start going the but... interior of Africa. Oh, right. So we only get the colonist for 100 years. Yeah, the extra colonies. Yeah, what's on the other hand, like if we like, there's a lot of gold and shit in South Africa, isn't it? There or is. Remember, uh, yeah. If you if we want to try to get that. The background a bit better. There we go. Now I can see what's actually uncolonized. So we can take that. We can take that. We could go along the coast, I guess. Ooh, the Gold Coast. <laughs> Yeah, and that's useful because Calabar is a center of trade. Ooh, yeah, no, it's so, so many, so many, Benguela. so many tricky. Yeah, that might uh, like, yeah, maybe we should go for it right away. I think we should. What well, and what's the next uh, mission here? Zimbu sources. Luanda, Luanda and Benguela need to be ours, and then we get a bunch of base production. And the center of trade in Benguela and Ndongo increased. So for this, we definitely need to own Benguela. Yeah. Wait, we before... Oh, All right. Native policy. Shall we just go aggressive? Honestly, I usually go native trading policy because if you can get that assimilation, that increases the goods produced. And we're in Africa. There's going to be a lot of very valuable goods like ivory. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I trust in you. Hello there, Marshall1985. Hey, Marshall. He did the uh, yeah, so he, he, he did the uh, General Kenobi. <clears throat> more Let's soldiers, more troops. More soldiers for the Congolese army. How is that war going along for Luanda? Looks like they're winning. It does. Unfortunately, I think Cuba kind of 
bit off a bit more than they can chew here because they didn't call it in oh, any no. of their allies. Sergeant Pepper died. Sorry, Sergeant Pepper. Well, that means it's time for Salsa 1444 to to uh, uh, start to start his reign. Sergeant Pepper, you did lead us to some. You did fail to some rebels. <laughs> That's. <laughs> Congo grew and prospered under uh, under your lifespan, uh, but now size so I don't even know how to pronounce it. Sayusa, Sayusa, that sounds right. Sayusa, the user of Arkham for the Force. Five pips. Five pip, Commander. What's our maximum right now? We can have up to nine. So you're about half. <laughs> you're, you're, decent. you're a half man. A half general. Uh, no, that that's good. But yeah, uh, only one star, unfortunately. Mordred failed me. Yeah, I know. Mordred failed us all. No. He didn't. Mordred is good. Mordred is uh, leading us. Thank you. <laughs> Apparently I did perfect pronunciation uh, of the name. Zayuza. Uh, exactly. Don't Two blame minutes. the High Lord King Emperor Mordred. Did we start the... Oh, yeah. Did you? St yeah, you started one the... Do we really need 3k troops? Yeah, because there's 5,000 natives. Ooh, there. yeah. And we're still only tech 2, so they're mm. going to be roughly equivalent to us. Ouch. <clears throat> well, we are gonna we are going to succeed, I'm sure. Uh, maybe we should... Uh, uh, we could preemptively send out some diplomats to... to uh, try and uh, uh, sort so we can ex you know the aggressive expansion since uh, as far as i know now uh, diplomacy is gonna r decrease the risk of collisions right like their opinion of you yes that's true and i'm also going to start annexing luango now i think ah yes uh, so we could do this automatically so we could say outraged countries do we really need don't we need one to be on standby Declaring wars and ah, stuff. We can call them back. I mean, these guys are only going to go to other provinces near us. It's going to take like three days for them to come back ah, home. True. How, how much money are we bleeding now? Because now we're both colonizing and the integrating. That is true. We are currently losing 0.4 ducats. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue developing stuff and overcome the deficit that way. It's a good plan. Mm -hmm. What part of Skåne are we playing against now? We're going to play against uh, the part of Skåne that is called Belgium. That's <laughs> where we... <laughs> that's, that's our grand goal. So yeah, uh, we we need to... we need to. Uh, so we are time travelers. We travel back in time. We know we know what the Belgians are <laughs> up to. And we're going we're gonna to stop them before, before it begins. Uh... Oh no, they've actually won. Jesus, oh, they crushed man. they crashed a little and they colonizing killed all 3000. Yeah. <laughs> poor little poor little colonizing army. Ah. We need to leave 5000 here probably with a general too. Is Sweden still in the personal union game? I would assume so. Uh we do not we have vision of uh, yeah, we are unfortunately Congo only has theoretical knowledge of Europe. Uh, no actual knowledge. Like it's a, uh, it's basically Neverland, uh, Peter Pan's where Peter Pan lives. Uh, so we need another general, Bjorn. Ooh. Who's our second general going to be? Oh, okay, who shall be our second general? Sergeant Pepper has already has already been. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Sir Grunge can get it for for translating so nicely. Uh, since I apparently cannot recognize Danish, <laughs> he's my personal translator. I will send him to war. Oh, I ah, asked the siege general. So you are in charge of that group. Oh, and Jesus! The siege general in charge of this. <laughs> Might they let the screensaver go up here? That's not. That, that's not nice. Man, I really miss. <laughs> I, I have so much. I get two keyboards and three screens in front of me, and I have no computer. I can do stuff on. <laughs> I can, can only. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can take over in the game if you like. Nah, you're doing fine. It's just like I want to. <laughs> like if I want to Google something, actually, I'm surrounded by computers. I still have to use my phone if I if I need to Google something. It's uh, it's uh, annoying, but yeah, it is what it is. 
Uh, <clears throat> mm, yeah, still bleeding money. But could be. Yeah. Oh yeah, we don't we don't even have feudalism yet, do we? Nope. <laughs> so we can't even go to admin three, can we? Nope. <laughs> yeah, we're that's by it. Um, and how how close are we to feudalism? I don't think it's even spreading to us yet. No, uh, and now we are over the limit for generals, by the way. Shouldn't be. Oh, we are. Huh. I thought there was always a base limit of three. Is that a feudalism thing? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Leaders without upkeep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, Sir Grunch, since you did it, weren't wasn't really good. weren't really good anyway. <laughs> we, maybe we shall dismiss him for now. You can return once we embraced feudalism, or, God forbid, Saruyang uh, uh, Saruyaga. Saruyaga. Well, I think during dies. the war we'll keep him, and then we'll get rid of him again because we're about to declare war on London. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we we go. We go. Ooh, now they are allied to Luba. Yes, they are. But well, we massively outnumber them. We have 25,000 infantry and 3,000 cavalry to their 9,000 and 2,000. What? We have 25? Yeah, because we have minions they? as well. Oh, right. We have minions. I forgot about the minion. You forget the minions. <laughs> I forgot the minions. Yes, Sir Grunch, we, we're going to push you out to sea for a while, and then we're going to pull you back, and hopefully you will have reincarnated into a better general <laughs> when, when we pull you back. But yeah, first war, first le war. What what are we telling our our little uh, our little uh, minions to do? We're telling them to go and siege stuff. Go siege. Don't suicide. That's bad. Wait. Who who what? Are those purple guys over there? That that's L Luba. All oh, right. Yeah. Then they're not sieging. They're just. Oh no. It's <laughs> gonna get oh, crashed. Yeah. Alright, let's go and fight them. Oh no! Can we make it? Can we make it? No! No, but they'll be on low morale. Yeah. They didn't die. Mm. There goes Luba. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, Luba needs to be part of Congo, so it doesn't matter. Uh, ooh, are we taking all of them? Might as well. Mm, look at that Congo. Look at that Congo. Congo is all about just getting bigger. That's what we're doing. Mm -mm. Still over force limit. Yeah. Just kind of hoping that taking this land would reduce that, but uh, apparently it didn't. No, they're not powerful. Silly, silly natives. Why? I think we're going to have to park our entire army on Lunda just to stop that happening. Well, 5k almost had them, I think. So you think they're, what, 7k with a general? 7k with a general. And actually, Shoot we could put the mercenaries on there. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, all right. We're still going around with mercenaries. We uh, don't need to anymore. What can we... What kind of... Uh, what can we build? You know, I'm going to get rid of the mercenaries. We don't need those anymore, and they are expensive. Yeah. What? What is it we can build? Is it forts? or? Because we can't build temples yet, right? Yeah, just forts. Yeah. I don't think it's really worthwhile at the moment. Nah. Nah. Corruption is rising. Uh, yeah, because we have overextension. That corruption. We need more admin power. Where are we focusing our, uh, our uh, power? We are focusing no. on nothing. But yeah, we're going to have two really bad admin rulers, so we probably should focus admin. And we should probably also fire a general. Yeah. Uh, which one are we getting rid of? Grunge? Sir Grunge, I guess. I would say it's not really much of fortress to 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 care about, right? It's better to have a battle general than a siege. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, just the capitals. Damn well, it. the previous ruler just died, so now we have an even worse admin. Right? <laughs> <laughs> really good at we development, can, though. Now we can or pick our... Diplomacy. Yeah, now we can pick our own little, uh, our own little uh, new fetishist god as well. A cult. We can. There's only one choice. Oh, no such worry. a hard choice. Hard choice. Uh, yeah, it was a hard, hard decision to use up, but uh, we decided. Uh, 
I know so that's what the wait which one was it yeah singular cult you can only ever choose that one cult ah uh, right right oh yeah 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 yeah. we picked the yeah that's right mm -hmm. oh sorry oh no <sighs> yeah but, oh, of course yeah we can we can afford it kind of have to uh, uh, uh. Although we are losing a lot of money, is this because we're reinforcing? Maybe, yes. maybe decrease fleet maintenance. We can save some money there, maybe. Oh, right. We inherited a navy. I'm not even going to decrease the maintenance. I'm just going to get rid of them. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes, chat. You heard me. I'm getting rid of the navy. Bum, bum, bum. Don't need it. Useless institution. <laughs> It's, uh, yeah, someone, uh, obviously, aliens uh, came down and somehow replaced Modern with, uh, <laughs> with an <laughs> identical identical copy. Yeah, I know, Silence. I, I'm worried, too. Uh, it's, ver it's very unnerving. <laughs> it's, it's like Chat knows. Chat yeah. knows. <laughs> Yeah, what did they do at the dentist? Bundled. Maybe maybe your navel affinity was in your tooth. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it could well be. I'm trying to think of something <laughs> funny to say with that, but yeah. Uh, who want to lose loyalty? Clergy. Aren't they super powerful? They are, but this isn't going to annoy them enough that they are, they rise up against us. It would drop our tax income a little, which is our most valuable. That's 41 ducats. Or the yeah. prestige. Hmm. I'm tempted to take the money. What, what, what was the other one? Prestige. Prestige. And again, loyalty and influence. Okay, yeah, yeah. They don't need influence. <laughs> we don't need take them. The money then. and run. And now a Luba one, a Cuba one. Uh, 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 no, Luba one. Luba one. does. But we probably should actually think about declaring war on Cuba because we do need to take that land. And Luba has a very small army because we just beat it. Mm. But Except if we leave and fight again, we're leaving Luanda unguarded. Exciting that. I'm, I'm just anxious to get up to Congo here. Uh, no, what did I say? Belgium. <laughs> I want to go, go to Belgium. So I'm trying to get rid of the Navy and you're trying to get rid of Congo. Who's the bigger traitor? <laughs> I wanna be. I wanna tag switch to Cuba Luba. Uh, well, we did seriously consider playing as them when we were deciding what to do. Yeah, it's unfortunate that I'm still disappointed in you one that we that they didn't get any Cuba Luba content. You need to make a uh, custom mission tree and add it as a free update. <laughs> Sneak it in there. No, <laughs> no one knows if I do a commit on the <laughs> on the code. What, what is this? No, oh, nothing. Look at the other way. And we seem to have gained a vassal. Like, I didn't get Kalundwe, but they're a vassal now. Oh, no. Did we have them earlier? Because we couldn't reach them before. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, I think I think yeah, we, we vassalized them in a, in a, another war. They, they were allied. <clears throat> they were dragged into war as an ally, and then we defeated them, and we, we uh, decided to, to uh, vassalize them in preparation because we were like, we're going to need to take their land soon anyway, so... We figured that would be the best. So, how is the incorporation going? The colonists, and 163 colonists. Uh, did you never start to the start to incorporate them? Yeah, we already did. It was the northern one. Ooh, we already done. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's really small, so it doesn't take long. We have an heir to the throne. Do we wish to name the heir? Ah. <clears throat> We should, right? Uh, I think we should. Uh, shall, shall uh, who shall it be? Shall we take? It feels like, yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> sorry, yeah. I was thinking about you, Sergeant Pepper, but you're you just been a general. Okay, okay, Sergeant Pepper. Re, re, let's say we re reanimated him. Uh, or Marshall. Marshall's been pretty active. Okay, the Marshall. Marshall, nineteen eighty-five. Look at that. There you go. Marshall, the to Congo. you are the heir to Congo, and we shall pray for you if you become very sick. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
connected a visor cost reduction. Interesting. Uh, ah, you got away from me. <laughs> it's like you see to the one place. You know how your air never survives when you just pray. Like seriously, like they never survive. It doesn't matter what they do. They always die when, when I get the events. And then one time I had this really shitty air. I think it was like one one two or something. And then I just prayed, and of course that guy survived. It's very of very course. very annoying. Uh, isn't that great? Now you doomed Congo forever. Uh, Siege of Malem. Can we take it? Yes, we can. Yeah, the, if you get a zero 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 to age ninety, then he then you get the achievement at right at least. <clears throat> oh yeah. Okay, so rebels running around. Yeah, it's the Melem's former army. They now consider themselves separatists. Hmm. They're attacking me. I'm okay with that. We win. And the warrior threat has been dealt with. We gain army tradition and professionalism and permanent claims on Kasai and Chokwe. Chokwe. Our home region is not only a place for the Congolese, but other tribes as well. Although we share certain similarities and live very close, our cultures still differ quite substantially. Two of these cultures are even seen as a threat to our borders, which are raiding the Yaka and the militarized Mbagala. We should subjugate them quickly before they have a chance to become a serious problem. Awesome. That gives us a CV against you. Everyone's allied to Luba. Luba is a popular country. Like, uh, what? We should. Ah! <laughs> Screensavers. Aha, Ooh, Luba. In a different war, so we can go and steal Cuba. We gonna take Cuba, Congo, Cuba. Congo, Congo, Cuba. Yes, do this. You are doomed, Cuba. Ooh. No. Okay, I thought they had an actual fort, but it was just uh, the. That's just the capital. Yeah, it's the capital fort. But when are we taking Luba? We are soon, but we need to border them first. We we are very methodic here, so we 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 take it one step at a time. I mean, technically, we do border him because of the vassal. Ah, yeah, it's true. Uh, but we also need to incorporate those Matamba people down there. Ndongo. The problem we've had with Luba is they're allied to everyone. So we need to kill their allies, preferably without them getting involved, which is what we're trying yeah. to do. Shall we split off a little nib of the army and take down those pesky... Seachers over there. I, I'm hoping we can finish this war before that siege ends. Do we still we have the? Ahead. Do we still have the uh, f fortification? The what's it called no, again? That was grunge. Oh, the edict. Ah, uh, edict. Yes. Yes. Uh, no development we, cost for some reason. Yeah, because we're just developing this area. Remember, uh, we made that at level uh, three. Right. 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 I think I'm going to take the risk and see if we can get there before it falls. Oh, I think yeah. We can. I think we can. I think we can. We did. Yay, we saved it. We saved it and we smash them. We smash that little army. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. We can. Yeah, I do also. Kaundo Lamba and the stuff. That's still uncolonized land. It is, isn't it? Yeah, grey is just uncolonized. There's nothing out there. Now, we have a permanent claim on Shockway, so we can probably just take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. And... And then immediate uprisings. <laughs> Oh, that was really unlucky. It's in Cuba as well. Yeah. Bastardos. But we did finish this quest. 
So we get Cuban Art, increases infantry combat ability by 10%, prestige from land battles for 25 years. Yeah, should probably wait but until the next war before we trigger it to yeah, maximize at, uh, that time. According to the founding legends of Cuba, this jungle kingdom is ancient, at least 900 years old even. Their legends, however, are of little importance to us. What is more important, the act the Cubans are capable of creating. Oh, the art the Cubans are cre capable of creating. Their masks, their broadswords, the ill wound sword are testimonies to their skill of art and warfare. We should integrate the Cuban into our realm and make use of both of their iconic items. Yeah. Cuba Luba. Uh, we need a Victoria team which here. We should probably accept some cultures. I think we should accept Cuba. <laughs> Ooh, Cuba yeah. Luba. That's going to be our two. Yep, yep. It needs to be. We cannot eradicate those beautiful, beautiful... Uh, cultures. What? Who's Luba at war with now? They're constantly at war. Everyone Kipunja is like. Kipunja and Buha. It's pretty fascinating how they what they have grown though. They seem to be very aggressive. The Lubans. They do. Which is just kind of buying us time to kill everything else. Yeah. Who? Who's our rivals? Our rivals are... Luba! <laughs> no, we have none. Oh, no, okay. No possible rivals. No possible no. rivals. We do mighty. Yeah, no, I wish... Well, I wish which Kuba Luba content was mine, but all the Kuba Luba content I've been promoting has been... Uh, has been... Um, um, shamelessly uh, disregarded by, by the rest of the team. I, I'm very disappointed in them. But yeah, yeah one so day... It would be nice. One day... I will manage. The dream lives. Jesus Christ. Stop rising up everywhere. We're going to have a lot of rebel problems. We may need to murk up again soon. Oh my god. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. But what, what's triggering? Oh yeah, we have massive overextension, right? We do. Well, no, overextension's not that bad. No. It's just the fact that we've been conquering stuff really quickly without letting them come to um, terms with a new reality with a new yeah basically so much need to slow down a bit but i feel like once we've taken kikonja um that's everyone that we can reach man this map looks like a bill murray movie stripes but no one got it <laughs> like Nurgle gave me a really strange there's a movie called stripes with bill murray and the map is full of stripes no one is like, how young are you people? Jesus Christ. Did you not know the movie or is it, is it was it just a lame joke? That's what I wonder. Ah, uh, Ponjail. <laughs> <laughs> we can get a buff for all of the ivory right now, the Chokwe and the Lunda. Deeper within the region of Congo are the Chokwe and the Lunda, both tribes with their own unique culture and traditions. The Chokwe are exceptionally good craftsmen and artists, and their artwork is a regional treasure. The Lunda are known as the people for their efficient statesmanship and their deep connections to religion. Our tribal kingdom could benefit from the integration of both cultures into our own. And this will give us plus one goods produced for 30 years, prosperity growth, government mm. reform progress, and 400 colonists in Zambia. That means I'd need to guard Zambia, though. Let's wait until this war is over. Yeah. Where is Zambia? <laughs> Where is Zambia? Oh. There. There we go. Okay. So that would get us close to connecting up to Matapa. Interesting. Now Lady Magnus is in the chat, shouting out for you, Modern. Hey, Lady Magnus, how are you doing? Just Modern, not right. me. I feel very... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I got a shout out. Very sad. Very sad. <clears throat> I am a pun officer, and I am placing you under arrest on a section of the Pun Act of 1975, 11.2, never to use the badum tss. In puns, it just makes it bad <laughs> because it was a good pun before. <laughs> oh god! Yeah. Ooh, that's a minus two. Ow! 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 Please win. Thank you. 
Everyone cares about you, Lady Mice. We care about everyone in the chat. We are a very inclusive Twitch chat here. Uh, uh, uh. At oh, least no. the rebels are fighting our enemies too, which is awfully nice of them. Yeah, that's cool. They actually beat them too. That's good stuff. Um, One of these. Oh yeah. <sighs> oh no. Oh no. That's bad. That's bad. We might. Uh... Ouchie, ouchie. Yep. All these rebels. Yeah, yeah. This is painful. We probably. Yeah. We probably <laughs> need to chill a bit after this. Oh no! Oh no! He's coming for us! This. He's coming for us! Right, off we go. Come on! Beat him! Get him with everything we've got! Oh no! Where, where's our general? That's a really good. What? Did he just die in this battle? I think he died in this battle because we definitely had one. Yeah, it was Ayusa. Did Ayusa die? Yeah. Oh God, Sayusa, <laughs> you were very short-lived. Okay, he took well. an arrow to the knee, and it was infected. Yeah, well, I guess uh, Sir Grunge uh, is makes back. is back, make another. Was it Sir and Grunge? And we just got a buff to um, army professional. No, not army professional. Uh, army tradition, so he might actually be decent. Oh, look at that! Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Jesus Christ, that was a good general. Don't forget to sign him. <laughs> uh, that was good stuff. Yeah, with that, ooh, maybe wait for some morale. Uh, yeah, I think we have to. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're losing everything. Yeah. No, why did you attack that, you idiots? <laughs> they got stack wiped. Oh, no. Oh no! Only struck with Roman fever. Well, he has a response, I guess. Oh no! Oh no! Wait, what? Oh, but to do the mission now, then, so we get the moral morale and stuff. I already did. Ah, oh, you did. I did that as soon as we declared we're on Chocolate, ah. and they grew suddenly very big. Yeah, those bloody Romans! What have they ever done to us? <laughs> for us, except the aqueducts. Us for us, for us, the aqueducts, the wine, sake security. Uh, I get a river crossing. How good maneuver are you? One, your maneuver three. So we will get a river crossing. They have five cavalry. That's why they keep doing so much damage. Ooh, yeah, goddamn nobles. But this time, Sir Grunge. Leading us to glorious, glorious victory. That's good. Well, you moved just as it was about to hit 100. <laughs> was just one tick oh. from switching over. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> uh, I want you to take the capsule back. There's yeah. so much development locked in this place. Yeah. Need to keep an eye on the... Oh, dear. Oh, no. Yeah, we might right, need, we need to... go and deal with them first. Where are they? It's all of these. Oh, right. Oh, no. Not so we basically need to make sure they do not take one province in the time it takes me to take these back. <sighs> Silly rebels. Okay. Okay. Danger averted. All right. It's bought us a little bit of time, I think. Hopefully. Yeah. Now they're roaming around no, up there. It really hasn't, actually. I need to go and kill these rebels before we take this back. Um, these are going to be a real pain to fight over as well. They're breaching the walls. What did the one wall say to the other, Mordor? I don't know. What did the one wall say to the other? Meet you at the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I didn't do the badumch. <laughs> no, time. I was thinking I should add it. That that might be badumch worthy. <laughs> oh, what kind of rebels? Yeah, we I say it's pretty much all. I think we kind of caught the entire flora of the uh, flora of uh, of rebels at the moment. Separatists. 
Uh, but yeah, it's it's uh, the the separatists are pretty good, like pretty de not so bad. <laughs> it's those uh, noble ones that are really pain pain in the. Well, the separatists boot. are bad because they can split them off the country if they win, which is why I'm so worried about them completing this. Yeah, yeah. But what I mean is, like, we we can beat them, but the 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 uh, uh, now we're getting. What are they calling it? Like the the bad ones, like the aristocrats. What are they called? Noble rebels. Noble rebels. Noble rebels. Yeah. Because they keep kicking our ass. Man, I've been listening oh, to this yeah. music for eight years. So I still like it. Oh no! I need to slow this down. <laughs> it's going too quickly for me. Oh, and the rebels are here too. Oh no! Ah. Ah, crap. Okay. Time to murk it up, maybe? We're gonna have to, and I think I'm just gonna get these guys slaughtered individually as well. I was not expecting rebels to arrive here. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, they're no. They're locked in, so they're all dead. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, the, the humanity. 800 manpower. Sergeant Pepper, Sergeant Pepper uh, arrested you instead of me for the pun. <laughs> I, 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 you took the fall. Hmm. Maybe it's time some, for some Flurnomics here. It will be, for sure. I'm just <laughs> wondering whether I want to go all in with the independent army, though they are really expensive. Or whether it would actually be cheaper to get like these two. That's 3.5 ducats against 4.4. .4. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. We can get the free company and the Yaka free warriors. Rise up. Because we just have no manpower. And we're in serious danger again. Well, actually, our allies are at least taking the capital back. That's where the noble rebels are. Ooh, yeah. You start with a general. That's good. We get a peace offer there, too. Maybe it's time to accept it. I don't know. What, what are they offering us? It's probably a white peace. And yes, it probably is. Wait. 1.8k oh. survived? Oh, good. Well done, people. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't put us over our limit. No, it hasn't. Uh, well, in that they, case... They are surrounded by... <laughs> like, they're gonna get crushed at any moment. Uh, as soon as one of those guys decides to move. Yeah, put the put uh, Sir, Sir Granish in charge as well. He is. He's in charge of these guys. Ooh, all right. Okay. I thought... they got. Didn't they have a general? Ah, okay, okay. The Yaka Free Warriors had a general. But the Free Company did not. Ah, oh no. Well, it's not separate this. Well, they yeah, didn't they didn't break rebels, off. So that's going to just... destroy our economy because of the autonomy. Yep. All right, let's go and kill some rebels and then we'll go and see if we can win this war. I'm going to tell my minions to oh, yeah, they are sieging. Good. Siege, minion, siege. Uh, Sir Grunch oh, calmly sits and has Fika whilst traveling to war. Mm. All right. Time to fight. Mm, so much separatism. We're going to have so many separatists after this. It's going to be ridiculous. Mm -mm. Yep. We're um, such a glorious <clears throat> time we're having here. Uh, I think things have stabilized a bit now, though. Yep. And we even uh, we even turning a profit right now. Magically Which enough. We are. Probably because of looting <laughs> our own territories. <laughs> 
And I think we can still win this war. I mean, this is going to go on for so long that we might even be able to piece Buhar out just as a white piece. That would be nice. Yeah, we only have three minutes left, though. Oh, geez. <laughs> That's gone quickly. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and Congo is back to normal, but very poor. Uh You're saying everything's fine. It's how, perfect. How, how, what's our what's uh, what, what are we? How much money are we bleeding? Uh, only point six ducats. Ah, okay. So and we're going to make a bunch of money when we teach this stuff down. Then after that, we just need to recover a lot of autonomy because mm. <laughs> that's the problem, right? <laughs> there. When has hundred percent? Yeah, that's because the nobles they got a little bit irate. And we have another set of rebels that are about to spawn as well, because of course we do. Oh yeah. Battle Opima. Yeah, save them. Locked in. Yeah. And, uh, and move. Good stuff. Good, good timing on Sir. Oh, save them. Yeah. And here comes a little one K stacks for munchies. Wait, why is there a sword symbol? Oh, you sent both. Okay, you sent stack going north. Yeah. I'm carpet sieging. I want to end this before the yeah. stream ends. One minute. I can. We have the one minute to go. Can be tough to do this in one minute. Yes. Or can it? I need to. No, not you. Stay there. Sixty-one. Yeah, that that doesn't hurt. Oh, do we still have an army, in Luanda? No, we have to pull that away to deal with the rebels. Yep. Oops. No, I won't take it all. And we can. They will accept this. And we're gonna get a call. No, no coalition. No. No, because they're different religions and they're too far away. Uh -huh. Okay. Cool. Well, I guess that's uh, the wrap for today. Good work, Mordred. Thank you. Very good, very good. <laughs> Definitely didn't almost lose everything we gained from Rebels. <laughs> nope, fine, everything's fine. Everything's fine. So, uh, thank you for today. Uh, we will be back next Wednesday, same time, same place, uh, and uh, probably on 132.2 at that point. Uh, and again, we are planning to release 132.2 opt in beta patch uh, might actually be available right now if you go in and check your beta branches on E4 on Steam uh, and uh, yeah with that said thank you Mordred for uh, today and thank you Bjorn as well it's been fun I'll see you guys next week bye bye <laughs>